Hi! On this video you will see what you can do with the new M365 Copilot. As you can see here we are on that new M365 Copilot. A lot of things have changed. As you can see the menu is now on the left side. Previously it was on the right side etc. All the apps were here under the 9 dot menu but now they are under here. But let's see what we can do with these new features. First we have search. This is not yet ready. On August this will be AI powered search. Now it's still basic Microsoft search. But in August it will be AI based search. I will do another video about that later. Then we have the chat. The usual stuff. Message to Copilot. Soon we will have microphone here so that you can talk to Copilot, so that you can talk those prompts. And later in the autumn you can talk to Copilot and Copilot will talk back. So advanced voice is coming later this year. I don't know yet the exact date, but it's coming. Yes. And all the usual stuff, add content, chat with an agent, those are here. And where are your prompt gallery? It's over here. It's a little bit in hidden. See more and then prompt gallery. And here we have your prompts and also with team prompts. Because the prompt app is going away. So we are focusing on this co-pilot prompt gallery. Yes, what else? Normal work and web button, basic stuff. Here we have start new chat, the green shield, and here we have recent pages about send feedback settings and you can use web content in worksite if you want and scheduled prompts. That's new. So let's ask one question from Copilot. It doesn't matter what you're asking, just ask something. But if we go here once again to this prompt, you can see lots of new stuff. Copy prompt link, you can save prompt, copy and edit, and this is the new. Schedule this prompt, so you can schedule your prompts in Copilot chat. Send me the result in Copilot chat, repeat, starts every day, runs 1 to 15 times. Simple as that. Let's save it, and then you will have your scheduled prompt. Couple of seconds, and it's done. Simple as that. And then if we go back here to the tree dot menu, here you can see active and you can run, turn off or delete. And where those answers will come to your conversation. You will see a red dot here if you have a new message here. Simple as that. Yes, that is conversations and scheduled prompts. Pages are of course here also. And I forgot to mention about conversations. You can add to notebook your conversation. We will come to notebook a little bit later. Yes, pages, you can use those, basic stuff, nothing new. But let's go to the new stuff, your notebooks. Basically notebook, but in digital. For example, I have a manual notebook here. Here I can write whatever I want, etc. But all of this will be in digital mode. As you can see here. I have here a few notebooks, Coca-Cola Quarter Results, Sulava Essential Service 06 2025. Let's open that. Here is our all presentations, what we are presenting on that essential service. I can ask questions about these. I can give instructions how that notebook will answer for me. That's quite cool. I can add references, I can add chats here, as I already told you, and I can get audio overview. That's cool. Hey, welcome everyone to today's overview. Glad you could join us for an in-depth look at um, some cool ways to enhance your work with Microsoft 365 Copilot. Absolutely, it's a great day to dive in. Today we're exploring how AI meets productivity in everyday tools. As you can see, this is quite cool. You can get your own audio podcast about your files. Quite cool. Yes. 
file limit is still 20 files, but probably I would say that limit will be gone. Yes, and you can add pages here if you want, whatever you want, chats, pages, instructions, add your own references, links if you want. And these are links to the cloud files, so if you update these files, then you will always have the newest info. That's quite cool. I compare these notebooks as an agent. I think these notebooks are agents. They work in the same way. You add some info, some material, then add Copilot instructions, and then you ask questions. Agent, right. Yes, that is notebook, and they are still private notebooks. Sharing is coming later, I don't know when. Next, we have create. So yes, finally, we can create better looking pictures with GPT-40 image model. No longer dal 3 finally, we can create good looking pictures, as you can see here. You can describe your image, you can describe your style, brand, color, size, and you're good to go. Design a poster, create a video, you can make videos from your PowerPoint files if you want. Create a form, design a banner, edit an image, document, presentation, workbook. If you have your own brand kit, you can add that here. That's quite cool, yes. Basically, that's about it for those new features. Next, we have, of course, our apps. They are here, what you can use, and you can pin your own apps here if you want. Yes. And one thing I forgot to mention about those agents. When you are creating an agent, then you can, let's go here in the configure side. The knowledge section has getting better. You can now have your own websites, your own SharePoint files, folders and sites, your Teams chats from groups, channels and meetings, and your emails. So basically you can create your own email agent if you want. Yes. But basically that's about it. The new M365 Copilot, you can use that in mobile also, in tablet. Mac version is coming later, I don't know when, but it's coming, what else? Basically, that's about it. Lots of cool stuff are coming later in the autumn, but we can use right now pretty cool stuffs already. For example, analyst, researcher, you should definitely try these out. These are quite cool. Yes. Basically, that's about it. What you can do with new M365 Copilot.